That looked good, and the lemon tart. I didn't see the lemon tart. We've watched, uh, switched it over to Monk. Mmm. Why PBR? So. When Sharon got there with her mom. Who's turned it on then? You know, every time this does this, I'm seeing something that I didn't notice before. What? Like that first part with the car going back and forth, I didn't see the first time we showed it. Hmm. I didn't see the cars going by slow with people standing on them. I think you take this home. You never go to work. <laughs> You're watching over and over. I have to go to work and not want to go home. <laughs> that damn tape's there. Monk was good last night, though. Did you watch it? The granny? Yeah. That one had me laughing a couple of different places. But not when he was taking the test. I thought that was a little old go on. That was uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't... When I was saying, hope they don't kill granny. That wouldn't have been a good beginning. No. Because they hardly ever have one without murder. Blimp. I didn't see that last time. Yeah. I'm wondering if, if more stuff comes through on this film. I wonder if we're talking Holder Geist film. Have you ever tell you about Holder Geist? The movie? Yeah. I watched the it. The film at your house? No, I watched it the night before my brother died. And I've never seen a bit of that movie since. I can't watch it because it's bad luck. I never saw any of the sequels. What? I'm not watching it anymore. Ever again. That came out. I watched it, people died. That came out the day before Thanksgiving. What year was that, 83? No, it had to be before 83. But I watched it when it came on TV, so it must have, okay. it must have been 82 the day before Thanksgiving. The year it came out. How did you say it, we couldn't talk anybody into going to see it, so for now, I went to see it by herself. In the theater? Mm hmm. We screamed that little girl. Is that, is that we right? We screamed worse than little girl. But we couldn't help it. It was that kind of movie that you hadn't seen before and stuff. That was we bad. were scared to death. Yeah, that was bad. The only one that probably really affected me a lot was The Exorcist. I went and watched it, and I laughed through that movie. And after we left the theater and about halfway home, I started thinking, you know, this stuff could really happen. And I was so scared by the time I got home <laughs> that the lights did not go off in the bedroom for like a week. I guess the, um, some of the GIs over in Iraq have DVD players. Good. Mm -hmm. This guy was watching the actress, this is GI. He realized at the beginning scene of a building filmed in Iraq and he went and it was close to where he was stationed. Oh, he yeah. found it. He's trying to talk who's ever in charge of it into making it like an extra 16 talk or something. But they showed it in, on Is that the, right? in the paper. It doesn't look like a temple, but it's, it's a very regal looking building. Mm -hmm. It's in the opening scene. There's Mom. Oh, she wanted to punch you in the head she there. She had a spoon or something in her hand. I don't think she was <laughs> flipping you off. She was going to whack somebody. You smoke a lot. <clears throat> I chain smoke, but then as you can tell, most of the people in my family do that. There's not many people who have cigarettes. Is mom smoke? Never had a cigarette in her life. She never had a cigarette in her life, and I was grown, moved out of the house before she had a first day. And she went out with my dad and this couple that he worked with the guy, and she had a screwdriver. As far as I know, that was the last one she ever had. So yeah, this picture That's of their the farm in the snow, yeah. This picture <clears> of their farm in the snow could be South Dakota, could be your, your dad's place to me. I mean, when you start to see the buildings and that's, yeah, I've, I've been in your butcher shop. Yeah. I have built that butcher shop, I think. You probably were out there doing some stuff with it. I never built it. I heard the story of it. Was it elsewhere? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Because it was right about that time. You know, this is the first year ever, I think, that I've been driving down the road and I thought, God, I'm going to be glad when I see you. And yeah, and I don't know why. And <coughs> Dale in the background is going to be out there. That's Larry. That was a bike there. It did. Rush pulling the kids on the sled. No, that's not a kid. That's a kid. Oh, that's the sled. What do you have? You got fetus now. <clears throat> I mean, this is probably as much as we ever had in the Probably seven, eight inches. Oh, really? They didn't call it school. <laughs> you know, I don't remember school ever being canceled, but I think it was a couple of times. Because I remember being up in the morning, waiting to hear if the school was called. And See, we didn't have any hills till you got down in the woods. And the only place that we ever sledded was down this trail along the fence line. So two feet to your left with barbed wire fence, and five feet to your right was the 40-foot drop into the canyon. And nobody ever hit the fence, and nobody ever went into the canyon. <laughs> this will look good on a big screen TV. Dale. 50 some inches. Oh, we get to see Pete's tonight. I bet she's got a quarter thing set up on the side. Cody? No. What's your weight? Oh. 279. You paid for it. We walked down to, uh, there's a, we found 7 Eleven. It was exactly 15 minutes away. And we walked down there every day and I bought uh, ice water and or bottled water and uh, tomato juice. You know where that is, because when we stayed down there, you got the front entrance and you go left. <clears throat> and across the street was the, uh, the show we went down to see. We went down to Chip Hands and Aaron, mm -hmm. the convention center. Yeah. yeah. Um, at the Hilton? I think it was. And the Hilton, the street? The Hilton had the uh, NAM convention going. It's N-A-M-M. -M, and it's uh, the music industry. It's a trade show. Oh. So all the like recording, sound mixing stuff, all the instruments. But you have to be in the, in the trade. It's not open to the public. Because when we got back, Mark and Brian were talking about that he'd been Brian had gone every day and looked at the, Mark and Brian both played the drums and went and was telling about the sets of drums that were there. But they, when that sucker let out, it was just a madhouse out there on that street. It was busy. We were down for the um, outdoor retailers. 
Well, with lithium for a long Got that Maureen. That's your kitchen there, right? That's that Maureen. She's dead, too. Got dead people in this. Uncle Don was on the track. Well, on the track. Track. A year later, his wife just fell over dead heart attack. Never had any medical problems. I mean, a year later, and she was in her 50s. Really? Yeah. Left all that money to them kids. A lot of money. They had a fair amount of money. It was in the. It was over a million. And Karen was already loaded. She worked for Standard Oil right out of high school. And she was the one that had breast cancer by a year or two years ago. Donna is retired. Here's that blue. Where is In the white. Uh, that's, that's Bonnie sitting down there. Sister Bonnie, right there. That doesn't look like her. Well, she doesn't look anything like she looks now. Any facial or anything? It's just... I know. Her face is huge. I mean, it's just round now. I mean, that's back when when she was thin. She probably 5'4", five, 5'5", five, 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 and about got 140, 150 pounds. That looks like Kathy. Dad's all picked up. Spare tire on the girl. I was running into the barn. That's the ramp, and that's the old manure pile. That's where I tipped the wheelbarrow over on these things. That's the loping shed that comes off the back of the barn. The barn is right over here. And right there is where Dad killed the rat. This is taken in front of that machine shed. And we were in the machine shed, me and Dale and Bill and Larry. Larry I'm not sure Larry was there or not, but me and Dale and Bill got this. I mean, this rat is a good-sized rat. And we're chasing it, because right in the corner of the thing was the shovels, hose, all the rakes and stuff. And we're chasing this rat with this stuff. I mean, we can't hit it, you know, and it's darting around between us. Well, it got out the door. And Dad was walking up there, and we're chasing it out there across the thing where the kids were. And he yelled, get back, and he took the crowbar and threw it from the door and stuck the rat into the ground. He said, do that again. <laughs> he said, why? said, do it again. Well, there's no reason because there's no rat now. And then I found out years later, it was, uh, he used to shoot uh, quail off the fence post for dinner. And his dad came up, and he had a 22 and his dad came up and said, why are you sh shooting them off the fence post? You're supposed to let them fly first. He said, well, you can't hit them if they're flying. It's a 22. It's not a shotgun. And he said, give me the gun. Walked about you know, 50 feet down. One flew off the fence post, he shot it, hit it in the head. Dad said, I bet you can't do that again. He said, I don't have to do it <laughs> so He said, he never found out whether his dad could do that again. And he said, you're never going to find out if I could Good throw story. it. If I could throw it. There's a story I hadn't heard. Wow, that's a, that's a new story. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And then, what is this? I can't hear. That's funny. You can't. That's funny. This looks like probably Christmas morning. Your family liked to dance around, didn't it? The kids did. You don't see any of the adults dancing. I was pretty much banned from dancing because when I danced the band skips. Oh, maybe he's watching Yeah, see, and there's the salmon. He's got one in each hand. That's one of the song. And there's uh, Kathy sitting in the pot. I and missed that's it. That's just disgusting. Yeah. Because they wanted to see my sister sitting on the pot again. So we can make a v VHS tape at the exact same time. Yeah, yeah this is... This and was, I got the jiggle out of it. This was their wedding. No. I was hoping I wouldn't wind it and do that. So here... Temperature thing. Mm -hmm. Was it present? Yes. So you don't know how much they cost. 
No, you have to ask my wife and Aaron. They bought that for me. Because Dale just bought for Bonnie one. It's an atomic clock. It gives you the inside temperature, the outside temperature. You put the probe outside. Because when the snow was here, her only thermometer was an inside the house thermometer. So she was taking it out on the patio and the snow and then trying to hang it. That was nice during the storm. So he bought the thing for her, so he's going to put it up. And he said he paid, you know, like 50 bucks. And I thought, God, you know, Sharon's always out there trying to see through that window and see what the temperature is outside. Myself, I'll go outside and just see what it feels like. There's all different models. No, you won't. If you put that on your mantle, you sit there like I do at night and watch the TV. It just cycles. Indoor. No, if you just have the indoor outdoor, then it's always on your desk. Yeah, see, I'm not going to. I don't want one that has, like, all the stuff you just got. So I figured 50 bucks. And he said, what's the, you know what the brand you're saying? Urban Scientific. Okay. He bought a lacrosse. And I don't know nothing about any of that stuff. Oh, you'd I'll like it. i get on the internet and maybe buy one. Because all my save money went for, for, for the van Well, good. Are you in the house, sweetie? That could be the nice dad. I have no idea who's doing that. Dancing again. Dancing again. Bill and Pam had the next kid, but I haven't seen them in any movies. Yeah, so that's Bonnie there. Mm -hmm. And it's Kathy across the across the room. See, why don't you do that? That is. You stay the way you Yeah, and the bank is going on. And he thought that, that was the most wonderful thing in the world was wrestling with his man. Said generation. See my dad now with science kids. Yeah, see, is it the generation or what's that going to happen with us? Worst thing's going to happen with us. I don't know where they are yet. I don't know if that generation. Yeah, it looks like Kathy and Bonnie and Russ and uh, the mom and dad must have. Went to the Redwoods? You must have. Did you wake up in that sun one day? I had, when I moved out of the house, yeah. I have no idea what went on there for years. I did help yourself. I didn't want to have anything to do with uh, with that farm yeah. or anything to do with the farm. I didn't want to know there was a farm. The warm? Because there was a fair amount of steam coming out <laughs> about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it looks like looks like Pietro's. Okay, we're back to baseball. Um, I think it went through the rest of this reel. Hey, that uh, this sterilizes it. Uh huh. You got the foot? You know, there at the very beginning, didn't Mike get sick? Because I, because I told him, you know, that that he had the foot, just to scare him. I don't think so. I mean, that was the whole deal was uh, was that the flu shots weren't going to be any good. Well, apparently they were. Anyway. Sunday night, my first night at Dale's, on Monday morning when I got up, I got a sore throat. And on Tuesday morning, I had a sore throat. It was like, like half as bad, and then it was gone. Yeah, I don't think we know anybody, do we, sweetie, that had the flu? It was at the, uh, at the doctor's office, they had the big sign. Oh, that's up, good. What is that? 
got lime instead of lemon. I like this. I hate the ones with lemon. Huh. I was looking for a vanilla. But uh, they had a big sign up at Kaiser said, uh, we're out of flu shots. The flu vaccine, they see us about flu mist. And I was going to ask her what flu mist was, but is it any good? No? Oh. It's like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, cool. seventy-five to hundred bucks. I wonder if it'd be free for me. They don't charge. They don't charge me for anything there because of the diabetes. Oh hell, get a couple of them. Sell them on eBay. Yeah. What was the shot I got? Oh, I got the pneumonia shot. What was that? <clears throat> well, I figured, you know, as bad as it hurt, it ought to be good for more than just my money. You need to take that lens before I can get that little spider on there. That lens on the old camera. It must be on the projector. Many, many years. Oh, you think it is? Oh, yeah. That can't be on the projector. Okay. I don't know. They're out there in a the baseball field. There had to be all kinds of crap all over that game. And, and they weren't, uh, oh, who was that? I don't know, we didn't see this the first time, did we? Well, you were over there working on the, uh, pull the VCR off in this Oh. Movie. And I wasn't paying much attention because I can't recognize anybody out there. And it just seems stupid to me to try and report something from the first base. This was the year? Yeah. Yeah, this is their team. I just have no idea whether they're a bat or in the field. <laughs> All the teams that I played on, we had real uniforms. Because I thought they might have taken some movies of me playing. <clears throat> Because when Dad got old, he went to one of my little league games out of three years. And that was only because Mom couldn't take me. And then when I started playing softball... There you go. So we're trying to get African? African, yeah. Africanized killer bees. Boy, oh, I remember that at the zoo. That's... That's old. Whoa. Ordered it squirrels. Italians. Italians are common. Isn't That's it? The, I mean, they're the mild yeah. manner, yeah. don't like to stain, yeah. just kind of hanging out. Ordered them for rules. Smoking some dope. It'll either be Monday the 5th or Monday the 12th when they come in. Uh, April. Oh. So, kind of like. You got that thing recorded, right? Yeah. yeah. Kind of birthday bees? They will be birthday bees for Lynette. Because her birthday's around there somewhere, isn't it? Her birthday is the 12th. Oh, they may come on her, on her birthday? Yeah, if she lives that long, they will be on her birthday. So we can name them all? Tiger sex. There were lions and tigers and bears. 
Okay, now this <clears throat> now this looks like a cop car, so it must be a. What are you gonna Okay. Here's my 26th birthday party. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? That was mom's butt. Still mom's butt. The, the birthday, the, the cake set. Oh, look at that! That's the original Promed t shirt or uniform. Looks like a uh, gas station uniform. It is. They were pinstripe blue. I still got them. They're upstairs in the closet. Happy 26th birthday, wow. Oh, 26. That was somewhere around 24, 25 years ago. 26. What year was that? 57, 79? 53. It's 79, right? Yeah. These are older than that. There's the wedding cake again. So, Kathy and Russ must have gotten married in 79. This is a very close. Mm. You think maybe that wasn't done the first time? I think this one should go with the other wheel. Maybe the other ones. This is what you get when you put any order on. Still not bad. Better than having them all sit around. If we had to go through all these individuals and place them, <coughs> oh, that yeah. would have been a day. Yeah. This is easy. Yeah, lucky she spent the money. This is really easy. I'm not sure who that girl on the far right is. And after they actually watch this with each member of the family and find out who, uh, who's who. Right, take on the floor. That's nice awesome. nice move. Absolutely no rhythm there at all. I told uh, the off-color joke this morning, the politically incorrect one. The farmer one. The farmer wants to get divorced from his wife. Okay, this is one for uh, Lynette's folks. The, guy goes to the, the farmer goes to the lawyer in town. And says, uh, Bill, I want to get a divorce. Bill says, well, well, Jimmy, do you have grounds? I've got 200 acres up on the hill. Of course i got grounds. He says, no, you're not understanding me here. Do you have a case? Bill, I've been a John Deere man all my life. I wouldn't have a case on the property. He says, no, no, no. He says, that's not what I'm getting at. He says, is your wife a nagger? As you know, June, she's a white gal about this tall. It's good. You can't tell that joke anymore. I mean, that, that joke is politically incorrect because it has nagger in it. 
Yeah. And I, I hadn't even thought about that thought this morning when I told the shrimp. Okay, that's out to the side. There's a church over there now, and those were all apple trees. Yeah, this is an ice storm. We like to get the camera out when there's ice and snow. Check my email and see if Aaron's said anything. There's white mama kitty. She's pregnant. She was always pregnant. The dry one. The holly tree. Oh, salmon. Paul got a salmon this time. Paul. Paul was my brother's boat. And they were the ones that, there's Larry and Paul. They were the ones that fished together, they crawdadded together, and they built crawdad traps and were selling them. That's Dad, and I have no idea who that was. But they're gonna, they're gonna weigh the fish in the butcher shop. Must be Dale. That's Pam, and must be Chris. Oh, look, he's dancing. What year is this? <laughs> Chris is 21 now. Oh, look, there's, there's a docks in there. It's got to be after 1980. That's Bonnie with shorter hair. Who had the first Johnsons? Me. Yeah, that's Chris. You had a Johnson before you got married. Yeah. Heidi proposed. She proposed, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we, yeah we got her in September, and in that, but that's Bonnie's first one. It was one of Heidi's sons. It's Dad sleeping on the couch, Mom in the chair, Bill, and Chris. young enough for that. I think that's first height. Is that or it's weenie? No, it's got to be weenie. I think never wore a collar. I think Kathy always had a collar on me. So this would have been 82. Pretty good, even though a couple of years. Well, I figured that they did. They only had a short section in there where they actually had this camera. They oh. used it. Aaron wrote an email. Aaron did. Yep. Eleven oh two. Two hours and forty-five minutes. Uh oh, mom's dancing. That was bad. There I am. Apparently I'm boiling something in the bag. There's Bonnie and Catherine. Oh, that was a hippo. You missed that, didn't you? Uh -huh. I've got this big stuffed hippo and I'm going... Oh, good. There, it's it. Oh, yeah. 
That's Bonnie there, right? Yeah. yeah. And Dale behind her. Whoa. Yeah, my dad had really very little to do with anything. Okay, mom's making a pie. And he had to what? Ask him to sit on the couch. Yeah. Well, five minutes to sit on the couch. I'll take some pictures of my house if you want, if the mom doesn't jump. It's small, but you can hear. It has two bedrooms, one bathroom, and a kitchen and living room right next to each other. There is a fridge, but my family has no car or any vehicles. Many families have ATVs and motorcycles. My family. Roy and Marlon are looking around at all the computers, so I don't want them to read mine. Nicholas Bellows' family has a golf cart. <laughs> I think the golf cart doesn't work because it's international and everyone is trying to register this. Maybe I can buy a local card. So far, no scorpions. All of the children sleep in the bedroom with their mom. I think they have separation anxiety. <laughs> I don't know. Some people are going roller skating tonight, but I said I'd be back around 4 and it's 12 55. It's really hard to spend all my money for it. Okay. Some people from Cantlin are roller skating at 7 o'clock, but only about half, so I already told them I'm going to be back at 4 o'clock. I really miss you and can't wait to get home on Monday. I walked about 7 kilometers of the Caminata, up to this one kid called in. So he walked up to his own kid. Then Nicholas B, Will Platt, and I took a taxi home. <laughs> <laughs> so they went on a charity walk and took a taxi home. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. <laughs> Milton arrived at school today at around 10 15 a.m., and there was a party. He started at noon yesterday. Milton, the land manager, kept his city case for all. There's really nothing. So, the kids in his family, it sounds like they do have a dragon walking all the time. Well, is the computer that he's using in the cafe? Yeah. Well, that's where the couch must be. Yeah. And he had to ask him to yeah, sit okay. there for five minutes. Yeah. I had to ask him for like five minutes to sit on the couch in here. Yeah. Yeah, I had to ask him for five minutes to sit on the couch in here. I'll take some pictures of my home if you want. If the mom doesn't get I come take, take some pictures of the couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to come over and pick up the couch. The mom's going to object because uh, that will take the spirit of the house. Yeah. <laughs> it's small. Yeah. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, a kitchen, and a living room right next to each other. There is a fridge, but my family has no car and no car any vehicle. This is really good for him. Yeah. Any family has a <laughs> Nicholas Bellows family has a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't look like he went up to the canopy today. Yeah, that's that's one of them. Well, 
Roy and Marlin doesn't sound like there's a mom. Did you say Roy and Marlin? Oh, okay. I thought that was the mom and the dad. My family people, Roy and Marlin, are looking around at all the computers, so I don't want them to read Oh, mine. okay. Okay, I, I thought it was the parents. The, and they won't sit on the couch. I thought he was talking about them. I think the phone card doesn't work because it's international. Well, buy one. There's no way he can spend $150. doesn't sound like it's just a weekend. Dad, apparently. <laughs> well, here's your uh, banjo. Your FedEx tracking number is. I sent it out on the 5th of February. I paid more for shipping than you paid me. Da, 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 da. However, yeah, the calculator yeah, yeah, on eBay. Yeah, you, put the, you put the bow calculator on there, I didn't. And it wasn't, it wasn't a FedEx calculator. It probably wasn't what he wanted to get for. Yeah, it was a UPS calculator. Well, as long as it's, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's on the way. It was in Hawaii, right? Yeah. It's got to be here soon. You would think so, because there's no ground. It sounds like you're still having a good time this week. <laughs> it took a what? <laughs> You gotta say these things. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Nicholas Bell, yeah, Will, Nicholas B, and Will Platt and I took a taxi home. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even think there was taxis in all the time. I can't wait to see it because I can't picture what this thing is. Looking at all these pictures were. No, I mean when, when he showed us of this of this town, didn't it look like just dirt roads? Yeah. And, very sparse. Like they only got one taxi driver in town. Oh, see, I'm, what I'm envisioning is uh, Jewel of the Nile. <laughs> yeah. Danny DeVito's the taxi driver. Yeah. <laughs> Here, sweetie, type him something back. There's Dale. He's bald there. That's 30 years ago. He's got no hair. He was, he was, um, he was losing hair when he was 18. Oh. I'm sure you don't want me to be yelling that out at his Dad, movie Dad here, had a full head of hair. Larry had a full head of hair at 34 when he died. Um, Bill's went faster than Dale's. Wow. Just Dale shaves the top. See, Bill's, yeah. Bill's losing a fair amount up there. Hey, sweetie. Tell him to call Collect. We'll be home all day tomorrow. We'll take the phone outside. Yeah, there's no reason he can't call collect. Be good to hear his voice. Who's that? That was Karen. She died. Pong. Mm-hmm. That's funny. <laughs> the kitty loved the pong. Hmm. In the phone. Hey, did you play pong with your kitty? Okay. Oh no, this is bowling. This is the Atari. Uh, or the Yeah, Atari. You know where the first Pong game was displayed? Yeah. Soylent Green. What? I went to go see that movie. And there was a scene where the rich people who weren't being turned into food were up in some penthouse. And they were, I mean, I saw it in the movie theater, and they were playing Pong. And for back then, nobody had Pong, and Ari hadn't. It was a prototype they had done for the movie and stuff. Yeah. Or recent, and it was, that's the first time it was ever shown was in Soil and Green. Good okay. trivia. That is. That's good trivia. That's a good one. Now, the uh, guy who invented Pong and Atari, did he just die? Come here, right they were now. talking about him within the last three, four days. About, I heard him say something on the news about the, uh, the inventor of... Atari, who also invented Pong, which was the first video game. I think that rings a bell. I'll change the tape after this one. This tape, not that one. Who's that? That's Larry sitting. He's really sitting. Mm -hmm. That's the kid playing with the arm. Whoa! 
You know what this is? This is your honeymoon. This is my wedding. That's Sharon. And, and that's and that's Heidi. We'll back it up, sweetie. We can't, we can't stop it now. We're almost at the end of the real life. There I am. They're getting, getting married. married by the priest. There's the back of Dad's head, the back of Mom's head. Watch the bottom of her dress and see if the dog comes through. Because Heidi kept coming underneath her dress. There's Zeus, German Shepherd. You get married out in the open in the woods. Oh, there's the kiss. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> if you hadn't done that, you had him wrong. There's Grandma. Grandma who found out about the wedding. There's Heidi. Aww. She, she was wearing a ribbon out of the same material of Heidi's dress, or Sharon's dress. Sharon made her own uh, wedding dress. There's Connie. Wiping the lipstick off my face. Oh, Sharon, I love seeing these. This is, I had no idea they filmed this. There's Sharon's mom, her grandpa, and we just...